Hi, it's Rich at Marvelous Ministries. Just relaxing tonight after a long day and thinking about the difference before being a Christian and after being a, a Christian. It's been 28 years. Why are so many of us still such a mess? Why are so many of us in a lot of ways, no different than we were before Christ. The example I think of is about divorce. See, in the Old Testament, it was permitted for adultery and some say abuse or abandonment. God would permit it because of the hardness of our hearts. Okay, well that's before Christ. So let's say after becoming a Christian. How do you feel about marriage? Divorce? Is your heart any different after Christ than it was before? What challenges do you have in marriage? I mean the stereotypical ones. Think about those. Do you have one spouse telling the other spouse that, oh, you should be thankful that you have this? You know, I've spoken to other people and, you know, that is nothing near what happens in their homes. I don't think that comment comes from the Bible. That's pure flesh. I thought the Bible says that we are to meet each other's needs not judge and decide what we should be thankful for or not. And so much more. Why do a lot of us in the church appear to be no better off and maybe in some ways worse than those outside of the church? Is it just because broken people go to the church, become Christians, because of their brokenness, because of how hard life's been? Or are we actually not forgetting that which is behind? Embracing the new nature. Denying ourselves and taking up our cross daily. But instead we put on the label Christian and still live like the world. Lord, I wish you would speak from heaven and tell us once a month, once a week, once a year or something to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Keep doing what you're doing. But keep searching within your heart because I'm there waiting for you to find me. And inside of your heart I have placed hidden seeds that if you will attend to, that you'll care for, water, they'll start to grow and spring forth out of you and touch other lives. We'll definitely change your life, but we'll give an increase of 10 or 100 or 1,000 fold when it touches the lives of other people. When you humble yourself and let me live through you. When you submit to me, when you surrender to your Lord, not with your lips, but with your heart and your life. You will have the life that I have created you for. Some of us find out later than others. Some people never do. It's always up to me as much as it's up to you. We can keep chasing what the world has to offer or we can turn around and say, Lord, thank you for creating me. Thank you for being patient with me. I don't want to be a fool any longer. I don't want to try to gain the world and lose my soul. And most of all, I don't want to lose your presence. Amen. <laughs>